everyone greetings from png engineering i am disha sinha and in today's module i will be discussing about various kinds of utilities that are required for the production of safe and quality product in this module i will be also discussing about the importance of designing and management of the utilities so that they may not become the source of contamination friends in today's module we will discuss in detail about utilities utilities kya hoti hain ye kitne types ki hoti hain aur ye kyun important hoti hain food process industries mein and then we will be also discussing in brief about ki utilities ko design karne ke liye hame kaun kaun se parameters ko consider karna hota hai so that they do not become the source of cross contamination so let us begin with the first slide which is about utilities and its management basically food manufacturers faces many complex challenges on a daily basis and often solution for these can be tracked back to basics utilities management in a food plant represent one of the most elementary but underpinning determinants of success utility fluids such as water air steam and other gases supports all manufacturing processes and represents the basic building block which are used to create products or enable plant operations their quality and handling influences downstream application and imp and impacts overall smooth and economic plant performances Securing the quality of utilities fluids based on their end use requirements is a good manufacturing approach which proactively eliminates problems safeguards the process and allows food manufacturers to focus on the larger challenges they face So let us now begin with the first utilities that is environmental air environmental air is the surrounding air that is present in the vicinity of the production plant which can be highly contaminated with physical or microbiological contaminants manufacturing plants are segregated into two areas that is number 1 manufacturing areas where the product comes into direct contact with the environmental conditions and number 2 is non manufacturing area where the non manufacturing processes like packaging warehouse etc take place manufacturing area or production area are need to be maintained at utmost hygiene as here product comes in direct contact with environment in manufacturing areas certain preventive actions are required to be implemented so that desired quality of the product can be achieved these measures include regular monitoring trending and review of air quality by appropriate personnel for ensuring the microbiological quality of the air number 2 maintenance of suitable air pressure differentials between adjacent areas in relation to positive negative and ambient air flow to prevent contamination that is high hygiene areas should be always maintained at positive pressure so that whenever any door or window is open then the air automatically flows from high high hygiene area to low hygiene areas number 3 air sourced from outside to be filtered to the level required for the product air blown on the surface of microbiologically sensitive material to be sourced from within processing area then the next point is air for control or high control zones not to be sourced from unprocessing areas air supply to the filter in an aseptic filling system to be filtered through hepa filter that is known as h13 filters 
us now discuss about compressed air compressed air is considered to be one of the most important utility in food industries compressed air efficiently supports the food industries as long as care is taken to remove contaminants from the systems compressed air system can be divided into two types that is contact system and non contact systems and its uh, selection and the select and this selection of system depends on the fact whether the compressed air is required to be in contact with the food product or not so now let us discuss on the various kinds of parameters that are required to be considered compressed air for general application should be dry oil free and must be filtered to remove foreign particles compressors providing air for direct contact with food to be oil free design if unavoidable food grade oil to be used when used as an ingredient or in contact with microbiological sensitive substance compressed air to be filtered using 0.3 micron at point of use distribution uh, distribution piping to be of approved material preventive maintenance of air filters to be documented let us now discuss about water water in food industry have extensive consumption depending upon the requirement water can be used as an ingredient or component for cleaning and sanitization of various processing equipment and facility different forms of water is used in industries like soft water raw water ro water process water or it is used as an refrigerant or as an heating medium quality or sanitary level depends on the intended use of the water food businesses should follow good sense practices while considering source and treatment to ensure the quality and safety of the product portable water supply system should meet all local and national regulatory requirements and there is certain other requirement which will be discussed now number 1 water should be mi water microbiological quality to be controlled and meet specific requirements and performing periodic mi microbiological test testing of all water that is reclaimed water hand wash water water for brine solutions recirculated cooling water water as sanitation final rinse to be treated for tvc and coliforms initiate corrective actions for out of standard results test ozone and chlorine periodically for chlorinated water and weekly analysis of water being used in the product let's now discuss in detail about steam In food industries there are two types of steams used number 1 is plant or processed steam which never comes in direct contact with food while on the other hand there is other steam which is known as culinary steam or portable steam the steam which comes in direct contact with food or food product touching surfaces process steam is a steam used indirectly during processing and the steam to be produced using boiler or chemicals or water treatment should be approved under local or national regulations examples steam used for steam used in jacketed equipment while on the other hand culinary steam or clean steam is suitable for direct product contact and can be directly injected into product it can be used to sterilize the vessels or parts that comes in direct contact with food product 
culinary steam should be produced only using approved food grade boiler chemicals the piping assembly for direct steam should contain an entrainment separator capable of removing particles of about 30 micron size and should be delivered through stainless steel pipe work to the point of use so now with this we came to the end of this module and if you find this module useful then request you to kindly like share and subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for your valuable time and have a good day